Kuzma. Eriksson. Garnacho hasn't stopped. Garnacho has scored in stoppage time. And Manchester United have nicked it. For updates in the world of football. Sterling for Liverpool. He's seen Henderson. Face to face with the Fernandinho. Henderson! Oh, wow! Lift the Anfield roof. Company's error, yes! Formula One. Here, Imkis down the inside now comes Carlos Sainz on Lewis Hamilton. Sainz just squeezes Hamilton who goes over the rumble strip. Cycling, boxing. Basketball and lots more. Listen to us live on Sport Rush, Mondays to Fridays, 12 30 pm to 1 pm on Al Yamoye TV Radio. For more inquiries, please call 006 242 9799. Sport Rush, your everyday dose of sports. to you all from the side it's sports vow on al iyamui tv and radio and i am yezi tawid good morning to you everyone i am tawid ziad they hang bizarre arsenal claim proven wrong as manchester city lucky with injuries arsenal's premier league title hopes have been taking a major dent in recent weeks with Mikel ateta's side missing william saliba Arsenal's Premier League title charge took it huge nocidive after defender William Saliba picked up a lower back injury a little over six weeks ago. The Gunners were sitting pretty at the top of the table, five points clear of the second place, Manchester City. With the same number of games played, Mikel Arteta's side then picked up just nine months from a possible 18 in the six games without Saliba conceding a whooping 13 goals in the process as the attire to charge appeared to collapse in, ab- in the absence of the French man. Manchester City's Bernardo Silva sends Premier League title warning to Arsenal. Bernardo Silva vowed that Manchester City will not relinquish control of the Premier League title race after dealing a blow to Arsenal. Like several among the city squad, Silva has eyes on his fifth crown in six seasons. At they can go top for the first time since February with victory at Fulham on Sunday. This has now become the club's most realistic chance of winning the treble since Pep Guardiola was appointed in 2016 and the manager has not forbidden talk of lifting the lot inside the dressing room. Arsenal's toughest EPL matches in title race amid Manchester City blow. Arsenal suffered a major blow to their Premier League title ambitions on Wednesday with a 4 1 defeat at Manchester City. The loss means the Gunners are now only two points ahead of the champions. Kevin De Bruyne dominated the headlines with another world class performance against the North Londoners. The Belgian playmaker scored twice and assisted John Stone's header to send Pep Guardiola's men on their way. Now to Barcelona women. Barcelona women drew against Chelsea women 1-1. Barcelona women defeated Chelsea women on aggregate 2-1. Caroline Graham Hansen strikes again to send Spanish side through to Champions League final, with Guruetian netting a late consolation for MIS side. Graham Hansen put Barcelona in command with clinical strike in 63rd minutes. Rating gave Chelsea a lifeline by scoring in the 67th minute on Wednesday night. More than 70,000 fans watched the semi-final second leg at the new camp. Now to Tottenham Hotspur. It could be a very exciting story. Ex-Manchester United boss Ralph Ragnick tips Julian Nagelsmann to take the Tottenham job and says the German would flourish working with one of the best stadiums and the training facilities. This is not a club where they expected to be at the top immediately. So it could be a very, very exciting story. Tottenham are an exciting club in many ways. Ragnick told Sky German. Ragnick is a former manager at RB Leipzig. 
before he was replaced in the summer of 2019 by Nagelsmann. Ragnick also expressed that for Nagelsmann to succeed at Spurs, they would need a competent sporting director to back him up. They have one of the best stadiums in the world. They have one of the best training facilities. And Daniel Levy, who has run the club for many, many years. Javiatera said the Nigeria case is most serious I've ever seen in history of Spanish football. Javiatera notably discussed recent allegations of long running corruption in Spanish refrain, the so called Negria case, named after the former vice president of Spanish Refresh Committee between 1994 and 2018, who allegedly received payments from Barcelona. Negria allegedly received 7.3 million euros between 2001 and 2018, which for what it described to tax inspectors as advice with the intention of ensuring the received neutral feeling refrain. Negria has denied favoring Barcelona in any way. Barca sources much needed financial boost from UWC Aero semi-final clash with Chelsea. Now to PSG, Paris Saint-Germain confirmed that Neymar will continue rehab in the Paris after having protective boots removed from his right foot following a season-ending ankle injury against Lille in February. Neymar picked up a season-ending ankle injury against Lille in February. The Brazilian suffered damage to the same ankle as the he ought at the World Cup. Paris Saint-Germain confirmed Neymar will continue his rehab in Paris after a positive update. Now to Rio Ferdinand. Rio Ferdinand says Pep Guardiola's current Manchester City team would have lost to the successful Manchester United side he played in under Sir Alex Ferguson. As he jokes that he would have, he would have record-breaking Erin Haaland in his pocket. Barcelona to play Champions League football next season despite referee investigation. Barcelona have received a major boost, or perhaps more accurately, less our major sigh of relief. In the knowledge that they will be competing in the Champions League season, UEFA are currently investigating El Caso Negria, a series of payments over 17 years to the former vice president of referees committee, but so far has not found anything to punish Barcelona, with the intention to influence the outcome of matches would see them sanctioned. Let's take a short break from here. When we get back from the break, we take on the fixtures that came on yesterday and also the fixtures coming up today. Thank you.
TV and radio as you have a filming analyst and Mr. Us. Good morning to you all. I am Yakina Nuluako. Yesterday in the EPL, Everton and Newcastle played 4 1. Southampton and Bonnemont also played 0 1. Tottenham Forest and Manchester United played 2 2. Tottenham against Manchester United 2 2. In La Liga yesterday, Valencia and Valladolid played 2 1. That was the result of the matches that went on yesterday. And today in Bundesliga, Bochum is playing against Dortmund by 7.30 p.m. In Saudi PL, Al Nassar is playing against Al Rad by 7.30 p.m. Okay, those are the results of the matches that went on yesterday and also the matches coming up today as Valencia defeated Valladolid. Our uh, Everton welcomed Newcastle and also were defeated at their home. And Southampton also were defeated by Bournemouth and Tottenham Jew with Manchester United 2 2. Okay. Let's uh, discuss on uh, some of the matches that went on yesterday. Uh, Tottenham against Manchester United. What I'll say about the match is that Tottenham. I've known been good in the last five matches. They can still beat Tottenham 6 1. They sat their coach telling me, and now this is another new coach. But now, this that yesterday was a very great match for Tottenham. Manchester United were winning 2 0. Tottenham were thinking they've lost the match already, but they still have the belief. The coach made them have the belief that they can still do it, and now they drew the match 2 2. Okay, can we say this is a, a big a, a big blow to the Manchester United face after uh, winning at the first half 2-0. So Tottenham and Tottenham does eventually came back at the second half uh, to 2-2. Two, two. Do we say it's a big blow to Manchester United yes. or it's just a, uh, a, anything dynamic in football? That's a big blow to Manchester United. Okay, they didn't uh, defend very well against Tottenham and allowing uh, Manchester uh, Tottenham to come back to be able to uh, go score again and be able to end the match uh, in a draw. Uh, continue, uh, let's continue uh, with some news uh, on football. Now to Borussia Dortmund. Marco Rio signs new short-term deal at Borussia Dortmund. Valid until June 2024. Girl, at no point did we allow ourselves to be distracted by current discussions. And our joint talks were always positive, trusting, and goal oriented. Now, to Rio Ferdinand, it would be stupid to write them off. Manchester United legend Rio Ferdinand admits he can see Manchester City winning the treble this season after they trashed Arsenal as he pins his hopes on Real Madrid stopping them in the Champions League. The big one is Real Madrid. No matter the form Real Madrid go into the game with, we have seen the history they have in Champions League. They can pull a performance out of nowhere. They have world-class players all over the pitch and the experience to match the Manchester City team. That is the big one. Then the Derby. Every Cup final, you never know what will happen there. They will be favourites. They can do it. Yes, they can, he added. Now to Demetar Barbetov. I was so confident, I thought if I shoot from the halfway line, it would go in. Dimitar Barbetov admits he still has painful memories of being left out of Manchester United 2011 Champions League final squad. In the same season, he won the Golden Boot. But legendary United boss Sir Alex Ferguson overlooked him for a place in the match day squad for the final, leaving Barbetov stunned. In an interview with BT Sports on their What I Wore future, future with Andrew Mesa. The Bulgarian reflected on seeing the shirt again. I wasn't on the bench, wasn't in the squad, he explains. That year, I was a champion, the scorer for my team and family golden boots. In a match where United were truly outclassed, losing to 3-1, Ferguson had a bench of Thomas Kuzak, Chris Mullin, Anderson, Nani, Paul Skuz, Darren Fletcher, and Michael Owen. The Bulgarian joined from Premier League rivals Tottenham in 2008 on a 30.75 million euros move. The 42 year old was twice crowned Premier League champion during his four years at Manchester United.
Okay, that's going to be all for the news today. Okay, let's talk about the matches coming up today. Bochum against Dortmund by 7:30 p.m. As you know, Dortmund and Bayern Munich are struggling, are fighting, are battling for uh, the league this season. Well, what do you see to the match? Is a win? Okay. If it's both. Okay, it says it's a win to Dortmund side and also in the Saudi Pro League, Al Nassar against Al Rad. As you see, Al Nassar has dropped three points from the top lead now, uh, Al Ittihad. Al Nassar has dropped three points from Gerd. We say Al Nassar is winning the match uh, tonight, or Al Rad is coming to Al Nassar's house to defeat Al Nassar. Al Nassar is going to win the match. Okay, he believes Al Nassar uh, who are struggling to. I'm battling with Al Ittihad and also Al Ilal below them for the Saudi Pro League this season as Al Nassar lost their last match 1 0 and he still believes Al Nassar who are, uh, are in a tight position this season. Uh, he believes Al Nassar is coming up with their top captain Cristiano Ronaldo and defeating Al Rad today by 7 30 pm. That will be all for sports by today on Al Iyamu TV. And radio, don't forget to like, comment, follow, and share all our posts on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and always click on the notification bell for more interesting programs like this. I still remain Yazid Tao'id. I am Tao'id Zia. To tell you goodbye.